Hello, hello. Oh, hey, my voice actually sounds pretty decent. Okay, so, um... Super impromptu, I am going to be streaming uh, the Final Fantasy VII Remake demo. I don't know if I want to actually stream the actual game when it comes out. But I do plan on getting it. So I wanted to try this out, and I watched, like... A little bit of the opening and I was like oh my god this is I really want to play this I want my reactions for this at least just for prosperity sake you know so let's dive right into it repping Pokemon while we're watching Final Fantasy I like I'm watching this on my PlayStation Pro and I was like my jaw dropped it just looks amazing This looks so good. Like the attention to detail, all the moving parts. Oh my god, it's just so amazing. I like I I've always been a fan of Final Fantasy 7, I just never sat down and played it, so. This is gonna be really cool. Oh, and I love the remake of like the Original's uh, introduction, like the uh, soundtrack for it. Oh, the characters just look so good. Like Final Fantasy, since like 13, has always had like really good like cutscene models and stuff. But like everything's just really coming together. This looks so good and fluid, and I think it's transitioning into gameplay right now, actually. Oh, and like seeing all the models from like the original translated into like this like full like photorealistic 3D. Oh, it's so oh, cool. Alright, the sound effect's a little off for that, or maybe on my end. Because like that kick did not have the impact it should have. Maybe my audio sinks off. That could be it. Or maybe because I'm listening to my actual stream while we're doing this. Oh, wow, look at that, though. That is just amazing. That is really great. Oh my god. Also, I want to give some props to Square Enix for actually letting us stream the demo, because, like... I love Xbox and PlayStation for including um, the PlayStation... Like, you know, the PlayStation uh, Share, Play, and Xbox Mixer and stuff. But it's really disappointing when so many games just kind of limit what you can share and stuff. And don't get me wrong, like, uh, a lot of score games is, are still kind of restricted, but, like, Kingdom Hearts, extremely free. And I'm hoping that the entire demo is free, because, I mean, it's just free advertising. I mean, obviously, not me. I'm not, like, bringing in the big numbers and stuff, but... But still... I'm happy I get to do this and share my experience with it. So, Square's my attack. 
Um, hold square to unleash an attack capable of hitting multiple nearby enemies. Cool. You're coming with us. No, don't think so. Oh, that is cool. Oh, that was so easy. Okay, and I can open up my commands menu. I don't have spells, but I got some potions and ethers. And I got a lot of HP. So yeah, this demo, it's... I can't save the game, I can't transfer anything, so I think everything's upped a little bit. So that way it's a little bit easier when we play. And then like the actual game will probably start at like level 1 or... Actually, I think the clock starts at level 7 when you start the game. Where I can see Have fun. We'll leave the guy with a sword to get, get the guns. As the ATB gauge fills, the time passes by and pressing attack. Once the bar is full, your character can perform special actions. Sorry, my voice is still really bad. Charges can be used immediately or saved. Try attacking an enemy to fill the gauge. Go ahead. You can extend ATB gauge charges to perform attack commands. Try pressing X to do that. Cool. Abilities, braver, focus, thrust, can I spell? Fire! Where the hell did he get like? Fire! Oh man, this game looks oh, like I, I saw the opening movie and I'm like, okay, you know what? I, I think I'm gonna get this game. But playing this, I so wanna get this game. Oh and the icon appears, move your character to it, automatically jump. Oh, auto jump! Um Main menu. It's interesting because they are using triangle. That's usually kind of like uh, the thing that most games do now. So I've got fire, uh, my inventory, potion, battle settings, class leader. Oh, I can, uh, I have a bunch of, hold down L1 and that will be my uh, like quick uh, menu. I can see where they're uh, getting um, inf influence from Kingdom Hearts. Tetsuya Nomura is the designer for the game. So it makes sense, like he's in charge of both. So it makes a lot of sense that there's like a lot of crossover, like those quality of life changes. Can't change my inventory yet. And it looks like I do have materia in. I hope they introduce us how to use those because that was always the thing that made me most interested in, uh, or the most interesting thing in uh, Final Fantasy VII. Weapon. You got this. Yeah, what he said. Just leave it to me, guys. Um, you can defend against attacks by pressing R1 or You're circle. coming with us. Can't get surrounded. Try harder. So, guarding does not. Ooh, there we go, that's cool. I am gonna, like, in a lot of ways, I'm kind of used to uh, Kingdom Hearts, where Square is my block and and X is my attack, so I'm gonna have to get used to this new kind of style switch. Or maybe I can switch stuff around later, but... And R2 is sprinting, cool. Interacting with the world, okay, yeah. Triangle is... Yeah, I can see kind of the minor influences of Kingdom Hearts in this. Aha! Going off the beaten path, and I got grenades! Boom, boom. I love grenades in every single game I play, especially like in like Halo or like any first person shooter game. I only ever use like every grenades. It's so much fun. Here we go. I got a potion. MP Makosh. Or, excuse me. I always get burpee when I have uh, pretzels and uh, milk. So what soldier boy steal? Is he one of us now? He's got balls, this, uh, uh, what was his name again? Cloud. Cloud Strife. Right. And he isn't a soldier anymore. Still, he's a professional, mm. unlike the rest of us. I'm glad to have him. <laughs> yeah, he's... This is a one-time gig. 
When it's he done, did the dub we're thing. done. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, don't, you don't need to be mean to him. Real joy to look at, too. You'll keep us safe. Right here, Clark. Looks are what people notice first. Oh, I do appreciate us interacting with the characters and stuff. I'd say you're not even reading the same book. They've almost got the door. We're done here. Or even the same Potion. Man, this game is really cool. It's. I'm definitely getting like. I want to explore more, but this is so like the first level of tutorial, so I get why. Come on, nobody do something this crazy just for money. They may not think you're a true believer, but you know what I think. Not interested. What? Oh. Cloud. Don't be mean. Which? You better be worth the money, Merc. Every last gill. That's the iconic shot. Oh, there it is. There's the trade mission theme. Oh, dang it. I want to run there. I, I can't stop me. You can press R3 to Get lock onto targets. Oh, I had to fight doggies. Oh, and also... Okay, cool. I can uh, save. Uh, not save, but hold down and like... Like, you, you, you see what I'm doing, you, you, you know. Ha, I can cut through walls, doggy. Let's see fire, see if that does anything. Ooh, staggered, I know that from Final Fantasy 13. It means you're vulnerable to my attacks. That was very cool. I am enjoying this a lot. The gameplay is very fluid. Um, it's definitely still very numbers based. It's not completely, uh, not completely removed from uh, like, uh, like I thought it would be like more like, you know, like I'm not gonna say it's completely. Uh, Like, it's, I was expecting maybe something a little bit more like Kingdom Hearts, where, like, skill plays a little bit more of a bigger deal. But, you know, it, that's also a numbers game, so what am I talking about? I don't know. I, like, and I'm not complaining. This game's also awesome so far. Alright, any treasure chest nearby. I want potions that I'm not going to use. But yeah, no, the combat's really good. I just... I don't know, maybe I'm just not getting it quite right. Or at least just yet, anyways, because I feel like, uh, you know, it's definitely gonna be one of those games where, like, if you don't have the right equipment and stats, it might not let you do as much damage, like... Oh, yeah, wait a second. Here, let me break the box, because that's how you get these. This way. But yeah, I don't know. All that being said, it's still super fun. And I, I don't think it's gonna be <laughs> as big so a fast. problem as I think company. it is. I've got company. Try to keep up. Oh, hey, okay, come on. Let's 
see how a grenade does. Probably should have led with this. I do appreciate the time set on thing. It's just really good. Let's go. Oh, hey, that's how you turn on the mini map. Use a potion. Ah, uh, the game's so slick. So the music department. This game's really sounding is amazing. <laughs> I'm having a blast. I'm sorry if like the commentary isn't as like uh, comedic or anything. This is just a lot of fun. I'm just trying to enjoy this for what it is. Of just uh, oh, I had to hold it. <laughs> I don't know. It's just fun experiencing this and like knowing that like right now hundreds of thousands of people are doing the exact same thing. It's just a really cool moment. Oh, wait, wait, I, I know what this is, I know what this is, I, I, I've watched Team Four Stars Machine to Bridge of Final Fantasy Seven. Oh, my nose is so congested. And I took medicine not too long ago. Oh man, so the characters look so great. Man, but I hear they make good guard dogs too. Bet you've seen a few reactors. So how do we get to the bridge above Mako's storage? <sighs> Ain't holding out on me, are you? Stamp scared to bite the hand that fed him? Or is he a loyal little doggy? <clears throat> Have it your way, Mutt. We can do this with you, or we can do this without you. Different reactor, different layout. Depends when it was built. You've never seen one like this, hmm. but I'll manage. I know that they changed uh, Cloud's voice actor recently. Because, um, I think it was like Corey Burton or somebody who has been voicing him for years and they decided to go with like a younger... I like the new guy. Like a younger voice. Um, you know, it sucks because like Corey Burton's been doing this since like Kingdom Hearts, but like, you know, I think the new cast is just doing really great in general. I'm watching you. Huh. In three, two... In three, damn, two... I'm damn, I'm good. <laughs> I, I, that's, that's a fun line. <laughs> well, he said he could do it without me. Oh, it's a regular theme. Every character has a unique ability which you can activate with triangle. Cloud's mode shift ability, you can switch between his balance operator mode and his tech oriented punisher mode. Let's go! Cloud moves more slowly, but unleashes more powerful attack than usual. Edition Cloud launches a counter blow every time he guards against an enemy's melee attack. He cannot, however, guard against range or magic attacks. When you evade such attacks, you will switch back to operator mode. Oh, wow. Um, do I have different abilities? No, I do not. But... Oh wow. I don't even need a combo with it. Let's move. He always knows just what to say. Cut it out. Oh, Barrett. So rough and tumble. <laughs> I like the sound of the box is falling. I got this place covered. Down, hot shot. It's a good thing I know someone who can get us the passcodes. <sighs> Pity no one else at command will talk to us, but what can you do? <sighs> then we're good. Careful in there. <clears throat> well, there we go. 
Oh, it's off the Phoenix Down. Wait, because you can't use Phoenix Down on yourself. Does this mean I'm going to get a party member? Tifa, right? It's not really my business, oh. but are you guys close? Ah, ah, that's where it's going. Everything's getting fuzzy. Tifa and I. What about Biggs and Wedge? Oh wow, that just looks pretty. Tidega. I believe the kids call me a Mimi. These sewer rats appear to call themselves Avalanche, sir. We are currently investigating whether they belong to the same group that made the attempt on your life. Rest assured. Our inquiries will not take much longer. This pump's sole purpose is to drain the planet dry. While you sleep, while you eat, while you sit, it's here sucking up Mako. It doesn't rest, and it doesn't care. You do realize what Mako is, don't you? Mako <sighs> is the lifeblood of our world. The planet bleeds green like you and me bleed red. The hell you think's gonna happen when it's all gone, huh? Answer me! You gonna stand there and pretend you can't hear the planet crying out in pain? I know you can! You really hear that? Damn straight I do! Get Barrett's out. very, uh, <laughs> hammy. Say that again! I hope they don't lean into the whole, like, you know, big black guy trope too much. Save the screaming for later. Like, I hope his, like, hostility... Like, I know Barrett's character and stuff, but I know that in, like, the translation... In the original translation, they really kind of played up his, like, resemblance to Mr. T and stuff, and I hope they don't... Our lives are on the line now. Barrett's a cool character. Like, I hope they don't ruin him by making him you into, like, a Merc. stereotypical One angry black move. guy. That happens. Well, so much for having Cloud do all the fighting. There are some places a sword just can't reach. <laughs> just bear with him for me, would you? <laughs> yeah. asked I mean, I'm excited to play as him, so I will bear with. <laughs> I joined! There it specializes in range attacks. Holding down square releases a sustained burst of on mag fire when equipped with a ranged weapon. Bear can fire from safe locations and hit enemies that Cloud cannot reach with his sword. Throw your sword at him. Let the man with the gun go to work. Um, okay, that's how easy it is to switch. Um, what are your abilities? Steel skin. Reduce damage you're taking. Focus shot. Overcharge. While well, press triangle and control bear to deliver a heavy hitting attack that fills a large portion of his ATB gauge. Once released, it takes a long time to recharge. Pressing triangle, however, will speed up the process. That's cool. Hmm. You switch between different characters like that. That's cool. What kind of spells does Barret have? Thunder! Oh yeah, another 
All right, so Cloud is going to be the one you primarily control. And then I guess you can change the characters during fights. That's cool. Alrighty. I'm not expecting anything too crazy. And apparently, like, the main game's going to be changed a little bit since this is an older build, apparently. I don't know. Okay. But I'm guessing you've done this kind of thing before. Yeah. Figure out the timing of the lasers. Then make a move when they cycle off. Exactly. I'll go first. Nothing like a little danger to get the blood pumping. Hey! Just keep those baby blues of yours on me. You can move around the side of battle quickly. Yeah, I know that part. Oh, there's another part that I didn't know. Oh, ow. Okay, I don't know anything. Alright, one more time, there we go. Oh great, more of it. Ow, ow. Easy, Oof. Right? Apparently not. Thanks, I definitely need that. Um, yeah, let's see a cloud. It's a car on legs. There's a treasure chest right here. A bottle of ether. Ha! We can take this hunk of junk. That hunk of junk is a heavy weapons platform. If we rush in, we die. Is that right? We need to hit it with magic. That should give us an opening. Being aimed to concern attacks is deal or dealing large amounts of uh, 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 that that kicked up. Will temporarily knock them off bounce and pressure will appear underneath their gauge. When this happens, pelt them with spells and abilities to quickly stagger gauge. Since it's full, you can stagger them. This gauge feels faster depending on the abilities and magic use, as well as the foe's vulnerabilities. Find the most effective way of attacking them. Hey, it's not moving. Let's pin it down. Give it all you got. Of course, it just had to get back up. Can we knock it down again? No time to complain. <laughs> I'm out of ethers. No, I'm out of. Not. I'm out of magic. Go. Fortunately, I could not stagger it. What are you? Twenty something? First. first. Huh? Soldier first class. Doesn't go into the twenties. The hell are you talking about? I mean your age, not your goddamn yes. race. I. Go uh, for all I know. A soldier's rank. <laughs> same as his age. Mm hmm. Guess that make you a one year old, huh? Live and learn. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of bluster. Like, I don't know. I know that Barrett, at least his character, used to be very, like, a sweet guy underneath. I think that's kind of the feeling. Uh, 
That's our target, the reactor core. Gotta set the bomb at the bottom. Let's get down there. I say I'm okay with the game being like split into multiple parts. Like, are they getting into like this 3D more active control system? I understand now that the game's gonna be so much longer now because of it. We can't do anything with these Mako shards. Okay, making me do stuff instead of exploring. I won't investigate your carefully crafted world. How do we say Square Enix? Oh my god, I'm really sick. Not worth my time. It's over. Deal with that. About damn time. <sighs> oh. Ain't no thing. <laughs> oh, we're done I here. appreciate how seamless the uh, transitions are between characters. This really makes it easy to approach each uh, situation. Fight. I wonder if there's gonna be a timeline on this one too, because I know like you plant the mama and the boss shows up. Yeah. yeah Conveniently located big area. Plenty of room to dodge and fight in. Let's see if Little Stamp really can bite the hand that feeds. Hmm. Go on. Do the honors. Prove to me you're the man Tifa says you are. That you're one of us. Never said I was. I'm just here for the paycheck. Hmm. Then do the damn job! Some Sephiroth stuff right there. What's wrong? Uh, I'm fine. What about the timer? You're calm, Merc. Uh, I can do it in twenty. Pretty cocky, ain't you? <gasps> you double crossing. Why is it me? Heads up. What in the hell? Hey, how the hell do we fight this thing? It's got reinforced armor plated, but the internals can be overloaded. Lightning magic. <laughs> no other option, huh? Don't overdo it. Need my help, do you? Keep it up. 
Okay. Go. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Got something for it. There. Attack it from the rear. I told you, boy. Show me what you got. Call it fire. Gotta heal up. I think he's a limit break, that'd be awesome. Why does it have to keep doing this? Watch the tail. You don't want to be hit by that laser. Huh? So, what do we do? Don't get hit. Take cover behind that debris. Oh, that was nice of it to wait. So strike now, before it fires again. Right 
Ouch. Taking damage in that and second hand just fills your limit gauge. Once the gauge is full, you can limit. You cannot speed A2 charges during these attacks. Cool. How do I limit gauge? Oh, right there. Cool. Cross slash. Let's go. Oh, that's awesome. Targeting him, Barrett. You got this. Uh, wait a second, I just realized I haven't used any of Barrett's like actual abilities. I just been using cure them the entire time. I go down by the goddamn score. And down goes another. Oh, you in for it now. And it staggered finally. Okay. That was great. That was like tense and actually challenging and fun. It, it felt fair and balanced. Like, you know, there was a lot of times when I was like, you know, iffy and like they gave us enough items where it wasn't like, you know, scary. Showed you how it's done. Come on, we've got to move. Wedge should be covering our way out. Go, go, go! Oh, it's a good thing. <laughs> oh, that's an image. So it's a good thing we aren't in group anymore because that probably would have slowed us down. XP is not worth it. Let me up. Wait, I have to. I tried to fight these guys? Come on, that's bullcrap. Alright, 
cool. Oh, I might. <laughs> well, guys, I think I might die. Only got you know 20 minutes left. So, well, actually, no, never mind. That's plenty of time. Oh, thanks for waiting, Barrett. I appreciate it, buddy. Oh no, Jesse. Oh no, me. And the timer just stopped this hey, whole time during the cutscene. Look over there. Look after Jesse. Come this he, way. You know, it's a smart bomb. This route should lead us straight to Barrett, probably. I think I see an exit. Come on. Yes. I gotta get the loot. You wouldn't let me come this way the first time, so. I know, but I gotta refill my potions, you know? This is the demo, you don't know what they're gonna throw at us. And then I'm just gonna like throw like a Sephiroth ghost or some bullcrap, and you know, we're gonna feel very foolish for not having enough potions. This game just looks so good. Another one. Nate time. Things, anyways, they're like robots. Was never in doubt. Thanks, Barrett. A Moogle medal. What does that do? Oh, hey, you're new. Deal with that. 
Let's see if a uh, shock trooper doesn't like lightning. There we go. Bear leveled up. That's cool. What's a Moogle medal? Huh. I guess that's something I'll have to remember for the main release. Two of these guys are gonna They got playful banter between them. They're bonding. Oh. I had a lot more time than that. the reactor worse. Oh, they're probably trying to pin it, like... Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So, maybe the explosion was supposed to be more controlled, and Shinra's trying to make it look worse on Avalanche. Smiling, moody boys got a heart. Oh wow, that's a big explosion! Yikes, Bowser! Oh, whoa. Oh yeah, so Shinra is definitely trying to make Avalanche look even worse. Oh, okay, so now this is like the trailer to show you what's coming after. Oh man, this game just looks amazing.
Select a version to purchase. <sighs> uh, I really, really want to buy this game right now, but I have money and I have to be sure that I can survive the rest of the semester. But I will be purchasing this and I don't know if I'll... I think I want to stream it. Yeah, but, you know, we'll see. I mean, mad props to Square Enix for actually letting me stream the whole uh, demo. Like, uh, I mean, they didn't do it for me personally, but just, like, in general that they are allowing people to stream their products again. Because, honestly, it's really disappointing that, like, with Atlas, I have to go through so many hoops just to record Persona 5 and the game's, like, five years old and stuff. Yeah, you know, it's just like one of those weird things, but uh, super a lot of fun. Um, I'm definitely on board. I'm definitely going to be getting Persona... Not, Final Fantasy. I'm sorry. I'm getting Final Fantasy VII Remake. I plan on getting it. I don't know if I'm going to get the digital deluxe edition or not, but I will be getting something, and I'll be playing it, and honestly, I'm a slut for JRPGs, so... Like, I always buy all the DLC, so I'm probably going to be getting the digital deluxe edition sometime. But you can look forward to seeing me play this game when it finally comes out, and, uh... I know this is breaking up, like, my, like, self-imposed schedule of the Final Fantasy games and just playing, you know, one, two, three, four, yada, 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 all the way down. Since this is the remake, and since they're breaking this game into multiple parts, I'm probably not going to be able to beat the remake until, like, it comes out finally, like, the final part. And so I figured, like, waiting for until I beat Final Fantasies 2 through 6 to play the remake, or wait until I beat 7 to play the remake, I'm just like, I'm just gonna play the remake, enjoy it, and then when I go back to the original product, it'll enrich my experience even further. You know, I think that's the whole thing. Like, it's not playing, the remake might be like, they might try to make it the definitive version of the game. But, you know, I don't think it's going to be something where it's like, you can't go back and enjoy the original and appreciate it. Like, I've looked forward to playing the original, and I still look forward to playing the original. And I'm looking forward to playing this. So that's uh, kind of where we're going to go from here. Um, but, yeah, super fun. Thanks, Square Enix, for making this game. Props to everybody who worked on this. Insanely amazing game design, music voice actors super super fun um i'm really excited to experience final fantasy 7 as this i've never got to experience the game i've appreciated the game and its story and its themes you know for years uh so i'm excited for all of this to come together and uh ex i'm excited for this to be my first foray into final fantasy 7 as a game proper but anyways, uh, thanks for watching. My name is Doug. I uh, hope you enjoyed. I hope you had a good day. And if you're having a bad day, I hope I did a little something to make it better. Um, I'm happy you're here. Take care of yourself and bye-bye.